So we said that we're going to want to reabsorb most of the sodium that's filtered here at the glomerulus. And to back that claim up, let's calculate how much sodium is filtered at the glomerulus every day. So the average GFR we've said is about 125 milliliters per minute. And therefore, the amount of fluid that you filter in a day is going to be that times 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, and times 24, because there's 24 hours in a day. And so that works out to about 180 liters. So this is how much fluid is filtered every day. And so if we want to know how much sodium is filtered every day, we just have to multiply this number by the concentration of sodium in the plasma. So we do 180 liters times the concentration of sodium, which is 140 milliequivalents per liter. And as a side note, if you've never heard of this thing, this milliequivalent, let's quickly talk about what that is. So if you think about a sodium ion, it has one charge. And so for every sodium atom you have, you get a positive charge. And when we talk about milliequivalents, we're asking how many charges does the substance contribute. So if you have one millimole of sodium, because it has one charge for every atom, that means that it'll contribute one milliequivalent of charge. On the other hand, if we think of a different ion, like maybe calcium, which has two charges, it's going to be a little different. So if you had one millimole of calcium, how much charge would that contribute? Well, it'll contribute two charges for every calcium atom, and therefore it will contribute two milliequivalents. Okay, but the bottom line for this video is milliequivalents is the same as millimoles for sodium. So back to what we were calculating, the amount of sodium that you're filtering every day is going to be equal to this. And so this works out to something like 25,000 milliequivalents. And we said that milliequivalent is millimole, so 25,000 milliequivalents is like 25 moles. So if we want to know how many grams of sodium that is, we need to multiply by the molecular weight, which is 23 grams per mole. And we're going to find that this whole thing gives us about 580 grams. So that's like about half a kilogram. In other words, it's about a pound. So that means that every day, a pound of salt is going to get filtered here at the glomerulus. Now imagine if you urinated out a pound of salt every day. You would quickly deplete your body of salt, because there's no way you could eat enough to replenish the amounts of salt. The amount of salt you eat every day is probably like two grams or so. So at most, you want to excrete two grams. So as you can see, 580 grams are getting filtered. And you only want to end up excreting maybe two grams, for example, if that's how much you're eating every day. So that means that the vast, vast majority needs to be reabsorbed here along the nephron. And if we use these numbers, it would be about 578 grams of sodium.